Hey, welcome to this tech tip video. We're gonna be going over the version two exchange of nodemarket.io on the homepage here. There's three different ways to get to the new exchange. There's banner here, exchange at the top and view exchange. We're just gonna hit exchange at the top. That'll always be there. Now you'll see all the tokens that are available to be listed over on node market. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the top. We've kind of went over that before, but right here, let's click on AGIX because we're gonna make some listings there and kind of show you what's going on. On the left side of the screen, you can see all the token pairs that you can list AGIX in USDC, USDT, ETH, and wrapped Bitcoin. You can also change the trading pair up here. Now keep in mind when you change the trading pair, that's the currency that you're gonna be listing AGIX in and the currency you're gonna be buying AGIX in. So we're gonna stick with USDC for this demonstration and kind of go through it that way. Now, right here, this is where I could set up an order to sell AGIX, and this is where I could set up an order to buy AGIX. Let's do the sell side first, because I'll show you how to do that. So currently, AGIX is 28 cents. I'm gonna wait until AGIX gets to 33 cents, because that's my limit order, and that's where I wanna set it. And let's go ahead and sell 2,000 AGIX for $660. Right now, I'm gonna leave this at seven days, and as you can see, as soon as I hit sell AGIX, an approval screen pops up that kind of walks through the order one more time so I can make sure I'm getting exactly what I want to be getting. So this is 33 cents per token, 2000 AGIX. I'm going to get $660 before the fee comes out. After the fee, I'm going to get $643.50. This last line is exactly what's going to end up in your wallet when this order fails. So let's go ahead and list the order. Now, before I can list this, I have to set approval for AGIX to be listed and used for, by the contract over at nodemarket.io. This is normal for any Ethereum contract. So let's go ahead and approve that. Now, if I were to go to my wallet and change this number here to 2000, which is how many AGIX I'm gonna sell, I would have to set this approval the next time I wanted to sell AGIX and the time after and the time after so I wouldn't recommend do that. I would just go ahead and leave it what we had there. This is basically saying this contract can spend as much as this much AGIX at any given time up until this amount is met. So that means I only have to do that approval transaction one time. So let's go ahead and go next. And it's gonna cost $3. This is the only gas transaction you're gonna to have to set when you set your initial approval because this is an on-chain transaction. So let's go ahead and approve that transaction. Now, as soon as that is approved, what's gonna happen is my MetaMask window is gonna pop up another time with the gasless signature. This is the signatures that I'll see every time, this time and every time forward to list my AGIX. Now, this is gasless, so I don't have to pay a gas fee again. I'm gonna sign that and you can see this order is now listed. You can also see that in my pending orders that it's down here and I can cancel that if I want. Okay, so now let's switch gears and let's say we want to put a buy order in for AGIX. Now, let's assume I want AGIX to fall all the way down to 20 cents before this buy order fills. And I want to have, let's say 500 AGIX. I want to spend up to $100 USDC for this thing. So let's go ahead and look at that review screen and see how that thing looks. Looks pretty good. So it looks like I'm going to be paying 20 cents a token and I'm gonna ultimately get $587.50 because remember, if you're the one making the orders in this section right here, you're the one that's gonna be taking the fee. So it'll actually come out before it hits your wallet. So I'm gonna end up with $487.50. Let's go ahead and list that order. And as you know, I've already set up USDC prior, so I don't have to set the approval. It's just a simple gasless transaction to have that order be placed. And now that anybody can fill that order here on this side of the market. Now to explain this side of the market just a little bit better, let's go ahead and check out HyperCycle USDC. Over here, we can clearly see that we have two sections here if we wanted to fill some orders for HyperCycle. If I wanna buy HyperCycle, we're looking at the top section here. If I wanted to sell HyperCycle, we're looking at the bottom section here. If I wanna fill any of these orders, I can simply do so by clicking on the order. So let's go ahead and hit the 70 cent order because that one will be easier to explain. <laughs> let's click on that. And right now you can see clearly 70 cents per token. I'm gonna to get 4,096 hypercycle and it's gonna cost me a total of $2,866.20. You'll notice what you see here is exactly what you get in your wallet because you as the filler of the order do not pay any fees. 
So I could go ahead and fill this order. It would pop up a gas transaction because when you're filling the order, you're the one that pays, you pay a gas fee because it's actually happening on chain. It's not an off chain order at this point. So you could fill this order here. Now let's assume I wanted to sell HyperCycle. I could do that one of two ways. Obviously I could sell it here and set a limit order, or I could go fill one of these orders by go ahead and say, oh, this one looks nice. 10,000 HyperCycle. I wouldn't mind selling that at 62 cents. I could do that by reading this order. It looks like I'm going to get $6,200 for this order. I could fill this order right now if I wanted. It is that easy just to fill any of these orders. I can click on any of these orders and fill them or any of these orders and fill them as well. Just remember this is when you're selling HyperCycle. This is buying HyperCycle up here. Also, I want to explain this chart because it's really cool. This lets us know how much volume we're doing per day in HyperCycle sales or the given chart, whatever pair we're looking at. Also, you can hover over any of these dots and see the past transactions. So right now, it looks like this order got filled at 67 cents per token. It was 5,000 HyperCycle and the person paid $3,350 for that order, which I think is pretty cool. So we can see all those things on all those screens if we wanted to throughout the entire exchange and fill any of these orders. And if the order we don't want is not here, we can go ahead and set up a new limit order for any duration of time that we wanted. Hopefully this helped you out to understand a little bit more on how to use the exchange. If you have any questions, put them below or reach out to us. And if you want more tech tip videos just like this one, go ahead and go to nickblacknext.com, put in your name and email, and we will see you in the next one.